the Bundestag is preparing its new budget for next year. And among other things, its draft plans to reduce the allocation for military support for Ukraine by half, from $8.8 billion to $4.4 billion. Parties in Germany's coalition government deny accusations from the opposition that Berlin's commitment to Ukraine is in question. All three government parties, uh, from Social Democrats over Green Party over the Liberals, are still backing uh, Ukraine fully. There's only in the Social Democrats, there are some uh, of the old belief that, that peace should be bought uh, without weapons. That's wonderful, but uh, I don't see that coming out of uh, Putin's brain right now. The party's official explanation is that frozen Russian assets can generate billions of dollars for Ukraine under a plan by G7 countries. But there is also the reality that since mid-2022, sanctions have prevented Germany from buying cheap natural gas from Russia, and it had to purchase it at much higher prices from expensive suppliers like Norway. Economists say this has driven overall inflation in Germany. It hit 10% in 2022. Energy and costs initially in the first year after the beginning of the war increased by more than 50 percent. Uh, food prices over the last three years have in Germany increased by more than 35 percent. On the streets of Berlin, the price hike seems to be felt in many pockets. Yes, tremendously. Everything. The price of transportation, food, everything has gone up. And also if you go to restaurants, it's got very much more expensive going to restaurants. I think a lot of people don't go out so much anymore as it really, it really, you feel it in your, in your wallet. Far right and radical left parties are seizing on this. They're a minority in parliament, but they are gaining popular support. The left-wing BSW party, with 10 deputies of the Bundestag's 733, is one of those calling for a complete end to support for key. Anyone who wants to end death and war must send diplomats to Ukraine, but not weapons. The right-wing AFD party, with 116 members in the Bundestag, makes a similar argument. We don't want to deploy our own material to Ukraine because we will need our own material to defend our country. Polls suggest most Germans continue to support Ukraine's armed resistance to Russian aggression, but they also show the number is gradually declining. A recent European Parliament poll said more than 40% of Germans said they consider financial support for Ukraine excessive. And the same survey showed support for Kyiv's entry into the EU has dropped from 58 to 53 percent. For Ricardo Marquina in Berlin, Marcus Harton, VOA News.